Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do our Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So, first of all, uh, before we begin the analysis, Happy New Year to all my subscribers, and uh, I wish the best year coming ahead for all of you with all your dreams to come true and all the happiness and your desires to be fulfilled. So I hope uh, everyone had a nice new year uh, with your family and friends. And let's also make a resolution that, you know, people who are seriously interested in trading uh, should be focused in their trading this year so that, you know, the mistakes that we repeated in the year 2022 uh, should not be repeated again in the year 2023 and going forward. So that's the kind of resolution that you need to, uh, you know, set up so that we become successful in trading. And uh, see, trading is all about your mindset and your uh, trading psychology and discipline. Okay, Once these three things are in place, no one can stop you from making money. And these are the three things where we you know fool around with every now and then and it hits uh, hits our account very badly so that's why i'm saying that the mistakes that we repeated in the year 2022 even i have repeated such mistakes so we need to be focused that you know we don't do that again in the new year so now uh also like this is a video i'm going to post right now and at night i'm going to record another video on the algo because my group was entirely silent on the algo for the past two months so i'm going to make a video uh, tonight uh, and cover all the topics like why we were silent uh, what were the problems that we faced and how have we overcome it and we have built a new algo and uh, i'm going to talk about that also and obviously uh, i'm going to take uh, you know, so a lot of requests came to me for the algo, but I asked them to hold on. See, this is where you must understand my, uh, you know, my stance or my reality because, you know, it was not that I want subscribers and make money out of it. Uh, I think I had about 35 or 33 inquiries, which I have noted down for the past two months and i have told them that no i'm not giving algo to anyone right now because these are the problems that we're facing due to sideways market and i did not take any money from anyone and neither i did not take any entries but now i'm going to take entries because now our algo is more robust uh, ready to face even the sideways market so all the details will be shared in that particular video and uh, i'm going to take uh, the new entries as well so all the price structures and everything will be covered in that particular video so now let's jump into the analysis video uh this is the charts and these are the levels that i've marked in nifty and bank nifty i'll show the levels you can also mark the same uh so before we begin the chart analysis let's quickly look at the data first so looking at the data what happened on friday is FIS closed more long positions in index future and suddenly they have created another 11,970 shots in the index future. So index futures, so this could be the rollover for the uh, month of Jan. Okay, so index futures indicates that uh, FIS positions is bearish. Okay. And so when we talk about futures, futures is always long term. Okay. So futures has monthly expiry. So, uh, you know, the monthly view could be like that. So they, this is the bearish rollover that they have done. So we'll understand what positions they have taken in the options because options is weekly. So, you know, that gives us a fair idea how they are planning their weekly positions. Now, if you look at the uh, FIS call options, so they have bought about 1,87,000 calls and they have sold 2,37,000 calls. So almost it is kind of a double. And this ends up 
to be 49,000 shots that they have created in the call options. And similarly, in the put options, they are net long. So call net short and put net long. And put options net long number is uh, almost double the call short. So options sentiment is also bearish for FIS. Okay, bearish with put buy means what happens? The market can either open gap down or it can travel on the downside. Now let's look at the pros. Pros, they are net short on call options. They have about 1,22,500 call shots and about 83,000 put long. So again, pros are also bearish with more of call short. Okay. So this indicates that both of them are bearish and there is strong resistance in the market. Okay. Both in Nifty and Bank Nifty. So this is the take from the participant data. Now let's move on to understand what we can do on the charts. So you must uh, keep in mind that uh, FIIs and pros, okay, both are bearish. Secondly, uh, both of them have uh, call shots, which indicates resistance. And both of them have put longs, which indicates either gap down or uh, momentum on the downside. So this is the take from the participant data. Okay. So definitely tomorrow we are not going to go long uh, looking at these kind of positions. Okay. So even if we have to go long, where we will do it is also we'll discuss. So this is Nifty's chart. Uh, let me put it into five minutes. Okay, so this is the five minutes chart. Uh, I'll just delete whatever I've written here. I'll close the ad. Okay. So uh, Nifty actually gave a weak closing compared to Bank Nifty. Both of them were definitely weak. Uh, so almost closed near day low. So these are the levels like uh, above 18210, uh, the market can slide on the upside. So this is the buying level. But at 18200 or 210, definitely we need to short. Okay. And your SL should be somewhere around 18220, not, uh, not beyond that. So we uh, on the five minutes time frame we see a very big red candle but uh, no follow through to this particular red candle okay uh SGX nifty is indicating 78 points down so possibly we may open gap down but we'll discuss all the other uh, scenarios for example if uh market opens gap up so see first we must understand that uh, if these people have created short positions, so this is the area where their shorts are, okay? And they are already in profit and they are still holding it, uh, expecting more of a downside, okay? So from 18, uh, 160 to 18200, uh, they have their short positions being built. Tomorrow, say if we open gap up, okay, above 18,134, then we will wait for some candles to 
come up okay and as soon as around the area of 18200 so see the candles that i've drawn this is follow through candles for the buy side and suddenly it will stop giving a follow through and it will probably make a doji or something like an indecision candle and whenever the low is breached will enter into a put okay the first target should be uh 18100 in that case okay and then it may give a bounce consolidate and break down further and your final target should be 18011 okay this is your target for nifty for tomorrow this is in case of a slight gap up and it gives a slight pullback okay this is one of the scenario if it opens flat say it is opening here this is a little confusing place okay so here we will wait if it is closing above this uh, you know then we can expect some pullback that pullback can reverse from here so keep that in mind as soon as uh, the follow through stops we take a put trade okay this is in case of a flat opening and if it going up and similarly if it is opening flat and it is coming here and then giving a close below and then it gives a follow through then you take a put entry here okay why am i saying this because this blue line the 18134 this is the candle which has broken the level and no follow through okay but in case if it opens flat comes above the line and then falls back below the line with a follow through this is again a put entry here you can straight away plan your target as 18011 okay now the third scenario is gap down so imagine it's opening somewhere around this place okay so obviously we'll uh, wait for them to book their profits so it will come and close above this and it will eventually fill the gap okay so whenever it fills the gap and you see an indecision candle and the low is broken you again enter into the put side but definitely the resistance will be strong uh, so more fall writing may take place in this area and this will act as a resistance and the market may uh, stay here or may it, it may consolidate too okay so this should be your plan for uh, nifty tomorrow let's quickly discuss bank nifty so bank nifty is 43038 this is a strong uh, level so here it has closed above it but with no follow through okay buying should be only above 43208 okay you see a follow through candle we go for buying a first target will be 43500 and then it may con consolidate and break out further if it goes it will go to 43800 but we are not expecting this but this is just uh, we need to also know where we need to go for buying because these people will start covering their positions so if so again this is a big red candle but no follow through to it <coughs> sorry so it has broken this 43038 and it has come up again above so if we open flat here and if we get a pull back to 43208 definitely we need to go for a put buy here with a stop loss not more than 20 to 25 points we can expect it to come back to 42900 okay uh, this is flat opening and a pull back if a gap up opening around this place definitely we go short here uh, based on one follow through candle this is one of the scenario if we open gap down okay or say if it we are opening flat and we are closing below this line and then again we are giving a follow through we wait for a pull back here we take an entry into the put side further follow through to this level we straight away come to 42711 okay, so this should be your target if we open gap down say anywhere around 42800 or 42700 then this level can act as a support we see a follow through 
we can take an upside trade but we need to close it around 42950 and then the market can be in a selling pressure so since both of them are on the same side uh, we may experience a little bit of uh, sideways market for some time or it may happen for the entire day also but uh, what we do is we consider sideways to bearish so for every uh, pullback like on a, we, we actually do sell on rise so that should be your uh, trading strategy for tomorrow so the best trade would be a slight gap up or maybe a flat opening okay a gap down will be a little bit of problem for us because they are already in profit uh, but you must understand the FIS position is also too much based on a Friday okay so definitely the resistance is definitely going to be there uh, but the only thing is they will not cover the entire position at least 40 to 45 percent of the positions will be booked so based on that uh, the first booking that happens then we take a short trade so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow uh, i hope you all understood it uh, please mark all these levels these are important and thank you for watching let's meet in another video uh, till then take care bye bye